Before I go into detail and explain all the steps of the editing process, I think it is very important that you see a demonstration of how it all works from beginning to end. Let's go over to my phone in a moment on which the Splice app is loaded. I have filmed 11 videos that I took while I was in a meeting at a coffee shop. I'm going to talk you through my process. Just be warned, this is a 10 minute demonstration that I'm going to fly through. If you don't follow or understand everything, that's okay. We will go into detail a little bit later. Right now, I just want you to see the process in action. The first thing I need to see is that I got all the shots. So I made a 10 shot activity template here for meeting with Ozzy. Now there are two talking to camera shots that I want to get with Ozzy, just short ones. One wide shot to establish where we are, two medium shots of the coffee being made, another three close up shots of coffee being made to support that. Then one close up of the sign and an extra talk to camera shot of me talking about the coffee. But as you can see on the phone here, I've got 11 clips in this folder representing the shoot. That's because I decided to get an extra close up shot. Most of these clips here are four seconds long. That's because I filmed them correctly, except for this first one, which is 33 seconds. This is the wide shot where I had to set it up walk to the other side of the room and then count my four seconds. So obviously it's going to be a lot longer. So if only from this point is the frame set and ready to be counted. And one and two and three and four and that will do. The rest is then me coming back to switch it off. These 11 shots represent exactly that shot list with a close up of the sign talking shot from Ozzy, there's a close up, a medium shot, a close up, another close up, that is a close up, there is a talking shot, that is me talking at the end, and that is a medium shot of him serving the coffee. So, if we go and open the Splice app and we start a new project, I'm going to import this folder which is called Coffee Meeting and then I'm going to select them in order that I would like them. Because it's only 10, 11 shots, it's fairly manageable. I'd like to start off with the signboard, then the wide shot, and then I would like Ozzy talking to us about what's gonna happen next and take us through the coffee making process. That's all of them. I'm going to add them. We're going to skip the music for the moment, but we definitely do want to rename the project and I will rename it to Coffee Meeting. And the other thing we want to change is the default transition to be none. Done. Preparing our project. And you'll see everything should be in order, except there those are the wrong way around, but that's okay. You can still drag and drop and move them around afterwards. That's the right order. I can already see this entire video is one minute and 17 seconds long. If I hit play, I can already tell you these clips are too long. Especially that one at 33 seconds. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find the moment in each one of these to preview it, one and cut. Right, I only need just more than about a second there. Bring that down to just over a second. Let's preview that and one and cut. Perfect. We'll go back. This is the long one. I already know I don't need the beginning part. So we'll just trim that away to about there. Then we go from 11 seconds, we bring it down to about 13. Let's double check that. And one and two and three and four and cut. That's better. You get the, the real taste of the bean. I don't need that first little bit that he mumbles. Let's take that off and. The real taste of the bean and a little bit off the back as well. 
real taste of the bean. That's perfect. Go back. The beginning and the end part aren't very nice. Let's trim the front off until it's in focus and steady. There we go. Preview. And one and it's missing just that bit. And one and cut. Perfect. Let's preview. Again, we only need a very small part of this and that will be from when it goes into focus and the back part. Let's preview that. And one and cut, perfect. This takes a bit of time to get a feeling for it. That definitely there, that was the moment just before he puts it down. Play and one and cut. Moving on, let's watch. The first bit's a bit out of focus and the last bit's got a shake on it. So once again, we just trim off the front and the back to find that perfect moment. And one and cut. So we've got quite a lot of short ones there. So I definitely want to try a little bit of a longer one. And one and two and three and four and cut. That's maybe a bit too long, but definitely maybe to the count of two from when it's pouring and he's doing the circles. Again, and one and two and cut. Let's have a look. You may have heard there I asked him to do it again. That's because I missed the shot, but you can always ask a person to repeat something. So we don't need that anymore. We trim it off the beginning to somewhere there. So let's check again. Here you go. That's perfect. Nice and short and sweet. And it's preview. That's actually quite all right as a bit of a longer shot. We can keep that as a full length shot. And we're ready at the last one. Oh, wow. That is good. What are you so we definitely don't need that front bit. It just makes it a little bit too long. From seven seconds, we can bring it down to, from my last bit of my sip. And that can stay in. Let's go back. And now you can see the entire edit is only 26 seconds. That's half gone. Now we will add an audio track. So let's go to the front, add a track. I can either use something from the library here or I can go to my iTunes. I'll find an artist, something, uh, something like that. Let me add that in. And this track definitely is way too long at four minutes. So we need to bring it all the way down to somewhere around 30 seconds, 28 seconds. And I'm going to do a fade out at the end. Bring the volume down so that I can hear what I'm saying. So about halfway should be fine. You can see the track's still a little bit long, so we're going to shorten it just another second or so. So there, oh, too short. 26, 27. That looks about right. Back to video, and this is going to be our first preview to see how it looks. Okay, I need to stop it already because I've seen something I don't like and that is this clip has got a background noise in it still. If I go to that, I go to the audio tab down here, I want to mute that clip so that it doesn't interfere. It was also unnecessarily long. I'm going to trim it down even further.
let's see how long it is now and one and cut that's better from the top again and play the real taste of the bean And that's the story of the strong coffee that makes me go <laughs> Then all that's left to do is export it at the top here. We're going to take it out at HD. And our video is done. As you go through the next few lessons, things are going to pop up and they're going to start making sense and resonating with you. One of the best things that you can do is watch this video at the end of the module again.